guys welcome back to my channel so today I have for you my April favorites holy moly I know everybody says it but I'm gonna say it as well I cannot believe it's May this year for me has just flown by I'm glad that it's flying by but soon enough it'll be summer so I'm so excited about that but let's get right into it so April definitely means spring and it has I live in Iowa so it's been up down right now it's raining one day it was 80 degrees and like the week before that it was 40 degrees so it's and it was snowing so it's it just crazy up here but anyways it is starting to get nicer outside so when it gets nicer outside that means you know you have to kind of change up your whole beauty routine or else at least I do all right so let's just go ahead and get right into it so the first thing I want to talk about is self tanning I am a self tanner as of two maybe two years ago I finally feel like I've gotten down to the point where I have it down and that I can do it and it's it's good and it's not a horrid looking but um let me know if you'd like to see a video on how I the whole process and I can tell you about that but I have two products right now that I really really love one is drugstore and one is high-end and I'll kind of share with you first so the first thing I always do is I exfoliate I do a DNA scrub, which is means if you were to commit a crime and didn't want anybody to know about it, that's how hard you would kind of scrub your skin down. And then I will put on lotion on those more dry spots, so it's just my knees, my ankles, my hands, my elbows, all those places. And the first, the first product I'm going to talk to you about today is the Body Shop Body Butter. I absolutely love this stuff. It smells great. You don't ever want to pay full price for them because they are always on sale so make sure you shop when they are on sale you can buy online or at the actual store and I have access to both which is nice but this kind is called and I don't moringa it's kind of a more floral and I don't usually don't like floral but this smells amazing and I've not done too much damage to it thus far but excuse me I really like the mango the peach the coconut butter, the strawberry, and probably the moringa is my all-time favorite. I like the chocolate too. My husband likes the chocolate. That's why I like to wear it. But um, yeah, so I have been lathering this baby on almost every time I get out of the shower. Make sure right when you get out of the shower that you're doing it right away to try to lock in that moisturizer or moisture. All right, so self-tan. The first product is one, and I might have mentioned it last my last monthly favorites maybe not but um it's the l'oreal sublime bronze <sighs> sublime bronze self tanning towelettes for body and i purchased a lot of these boxes when they were on sale probably like in the fall time at target and they're originally nine dollars but i picked up mine for five bucks which isn't too bad but there is six single towelettes and i have the medium natural tan color and they just come in individual packages like this you take them out they smell disgusting and then you wipe them all over your body or else wherever you'd like to be tan and um i would say one towel is not enough for my whole body but i usually don't do my whole body i will just do my arms legs and chest because the only person that's seeing anything else is my husband and myself and i you know, really care about that so i really like these a lot i mean they're pretty inexpensive for what you get now the next one is the forever infamous Saint Tropez bronzing mousse. I just ran out of the lotion and that lasted for me for about a year and I used it quite a bit. But um, this is new and I haven't even opened it yet but I know I will love it but I guess I have not tried it yet. But this is, I, I like the Saint Tropez line a lot and like I said I already went through the whole other bottle of the other one so or I finish the rest of the bottle this month. But this one is just the pump right there, and then I always apply it with the mitt. You can get the mitt actually from St. Tropez, or they have one at Ulta for $5.99, which is the better deal, I think. All right, moving on. Some more face things. I, as you know, you change up your whole routine when it comes to April. You wanna make sure that you are definitely protecting your skin from the sun. And that, you know, a couple of years ago, I wasn't too worried about sun damage, but um, I would say a combination of my sister-in-law, I just try and use it as much as I can now because I know how damaging it is to your skin. If you see some of these older ladies in their 50s, their skin looks almost like leather. It's probably because they didn't protect their sun 
protect their skin within the sun. So I've definitely been trying to do that a lot more lately. And the first product I want to talk to you about is the L'Oreal Youth Code. I am a huge fan of the whole line. And this one is just the moisturizer that has the SPF 30. So I will use the day and night cream at night. And then I've been putting this on in the mornings because, you know, I take my kids out for recess and I'm in the sun for about, about 40 minutes a day. So definitely try and put it on in the morning so I don't forget. Okay. And so the next one is, is Garnier's BB cream. I absolutely love this stuff. I've tried a lot of different BB creams, um, high end, and I don't think I've tried any other drugstore ones, but a lot of high end ones, including the Urban Decay Naked. And this is by far my favorite. This gives a pretty light coverage. And I like that. Uh, and I like that, you know, for summer, you don't want it to feel very heavy. I don't know if you can see it right there, but it's just kind of like a tinted moisturizer. It doesn't smell too bad, but it does have SPF 15 in it. And I am in the shade light medium and it says skin renew miracle skin perfector and it helps prevent sunburn and decreases the risk of skin cancer and early signs of aging caused by the sun. So yay for skincare. Okay. And so the next one is this came with my Sublime Towelettes, and it's the L'Oreal Sublime Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 30. And now I have like eight of these, which is great because they can fit right in your purse in case you need to, if you didn't realize you were going out in the sun for a while, hurry up and put it on and then you're good to go. And that doesn't smell too bad either. I'm a big smelly person. All right. I did go to Sephora when I bought my St. Tropez uh, bronzing mousse and I decided to spend some of my points whenever I go there I always ask if they have other things other than what they're displaying and they usually do and I can usually pick up the good stuff because some of the stuff is like uh, some of the stuff is such small of a sample are you really gonna see a big difference as such with like the anti-aging stuff so I try not to buy that um, too much because who knows if it's going to work or not. But um, they had a lot of great things when I went there. The first thing is that I bought, and I bought both because I was so, uh, uh, yeah. Um, I've been trying to get in more into perfumes lately, and I am definitely a body spray, very particular about body spray. Usually don't like anything with me. I feel like my body throughout the day kind of changes the smell, and then I hate it. But um, I did pick up the Elizabeth and James Nirvana. I picked up the, the black for her and the white for her. I It was funny. The lady was like, do you want to try these? And I'm like, uh, I heard really awesome things about them, but not much of a perfume person. But I smelled the white and like, you know, that's pretty light. It's a little floral, but I like it a lot. And I do like it. And then she gave me the other one. And this is kind of more masculine sandalwood type of smell. And I was like, oh, I kind of like that though too. And she's like, well, the thing that you can do with these is mix them. And I did know that. I did remember hearing about that. And so you roll one on, you roll the other one on, and it kind of blends together and makes this nice balance of femininity and masculinity, which is awesome. So definitely check these out. This would be awesome for day. This would be awesome for night. Or you can pair them together and they're awesome together. So I was super excited about these. First uh, type of perfume that I've liked in a long time. I did review in a couple of months ago in my monthly favorites, the Skinny Chick or Skinny Chic, not sure what it's called. And I love that as well, but you know, I'm adding to my little pile, which is nice. All right, and the next perfume that I picked up is the Versace, Versace Bright Crystal Eau de Toilette. And this smells awesome as well. And I can definitely see myself wearing this. And I like the roller bowls because you're not, I don't feel like you're wasting as much product when you spray it on, which is nice. And they're, they're small and they'll last me forever, which is nice too. All right. And the last thing that I picked up with my points was the Anastasia clear brow gel. I got this in my birch box as well. I have been looking everywhere for the Maybelline clear brow gel that Tiff makeup by Tiffany always talks about. I can never, ever find it from drugstore to Walmart to Target, can never find it. Ulta doesn't have it as well. But um, I'm so excited to get a brow gel. I've never used a brow gel before. I have the NYX Brow Wax, and I don't think that looks very natural. But um, so now I have two of these, and I'm so excited because I, I really like it. I'm actually wearing it now, and my brows are in place, which is nice. We'll go ahead and go into makeup. I only have a couple things from makeup, I think. Let me make sure here. We'll talk about lashes first. 
I um, have been trying to get out of my comfort zone of the Ardell 110s. They're the, probably the most natural lashes I've ever tried before. A lot of other lashes make my lashes look way fake and I and I hate it. So um, I picked some up from Amazon. I picked up the Katy Perry's. This one is Darling and this one is Pretty. They're kind of the more, and I don't, they're not in here right now. They're kind of the more sparse kind of like spiky type of eyelashes and I am wearing one of them right now. I don't know if you can see that they're the the darling and they're the little bit of the longer ones and at first I was like there's no way they're not going to work for my eyes and I actually really like them. I don't like think they look too terrible on my eyes right now. The problem I have is that my eyes are hooded and when I have when I wear like the really big lashes that everybody else can pull off they go like up to here and it's no point in even wearing eyeshadow because you can't see my eyeshadow whatsoever so definitely been loving these I have them on right now with no eyelash glue they're actually self-adhesive I would say if you were going out all night definitely add some more glue but they give you two of the bands right there so you can kind of re-adhese re-glue them if you need to which is nice but um so far they're sticking on pretty well with just what they came with the band I do have a favorite mascara for this month. I have just been loving the Too Faced Lashgasm. This is what the wand looks like. I do have an up and coming video about how to get really long lashes and this is definitely featured in there. I tried this mascara a while ago and I've just been kind of hoarding it down below in my little Alex drawers right there and um, I popped it out and put it on real quick and it, it's just very lengthening. It does not make my lashes clump together. It separates them. This is just an all over awesome mascara. And I. It's an awful sound. It just does what you want it to do. And I think, I want to say this came with one of my palettes, whether it was the Joy to Gir the Girls palette, a few of my favorite things palette. I can't remember. I can't remember. All right, two more things. I did finally pick up the Wet n Wild. I was able to find it. The Color Icon palette and Walking the Red Carpet. This is to me as a definitely wearable palette. I absolutely love all the colors in here. I've never seen colors like this within the Wet n Wild collection or any other type of drugstore altogether. But you get a very nice white brow bone, a nice uh, like beige color, and it's a nice beige matte color sorry this is pink matte and this is a brown matte and then you get a shimmery taupe a darker type of maroon color some brown with gold shimmer a copper color a gold color and then a white color and as you can see I am wearing it right now I will have a tutorial coming out with this look awesome colors definitely great pigmentation and it is just awesome I really like it pretty blendable as well all right, the last one are all the Maybelline Vivids colors. I have been wearing these so much more lately now that it's spring. A couple of the colors that I really like. I've been wearing Hot Plum a lot lately. This is just a very pretty purpley pink type of color. And the other one that I really, really like is Vivid Rose. It's the 875 oh, Vivid Rose. And it's just a really pretty reddish pink type of color and so I've been wearing those a lot lately now that spring is here and I'm so excited I know before I know it I know before I know it I will be doing my May favorites and then my June favorites and then I'll be off to Egypt yay I'm so excited all right so that is it for my monthly favorites I hope that you guys enjoyed my kind of spring rendition of favorites I am so excited for spring and thunderstorms and I love it all so bring on the rain and I hope that you guys subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like this video and I will see you guys in the next video thanks for stopping by